Hey everyone, Brittany Johnson here. Thanks for coming and watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. But I wanted to basically talk about what happens when you go inactive and wake up now. And it saddens me because a lot of people, you know, join Wake Up Now because they want the extra income, but they don't want to, you know, put in the work or they don't want to pay the $100 a month up until people are placed on their team. And I just want to say that nobody's for one gonna do the work for you wake up now we're an independent business owner I'm my own business owner or whatever but as long as I see people active on my team if you're active I'm gonna place people under you when I bring people in as long as you're active so I'm just gonna go switch the screen over to my structure so I can basically show you um, what happens when you're inactive and how you're missing out on you know placements on your team um, and I'm speaking in general as far as directly under you or somewhere in your structure. Um, in order to build and wake up now, you have to, I'm going to have to place people on your team. Okay. But it's going to suck for you if you go inactive and you don't know that your team is growing. Okay. But let me switch the camera over so you can basically see my structure. And, um, I have an example leg of someone who's inactive and missing out. Okay, I'm in my back office, and I'm just going to go to my structure so you guys can see my organization. Okay, and this is my structure. And as you can see, I have a pretty large structure, and I have a lot of active people. Green means that they're active, they're paid, they're IBOs. And yellow means, on a gray box, yellow means that they came in as IBO, and they went inactive. Okay, so blue... That just means they came in as a preferred customer. They came in for free. But I want to point out those that came in as an independent business owner and quit. Or not even just quit, but went inactive. Okay. This is my line here that has three actives and the rest are inactive. Okay. Versus if you come over here, everyone's active and those are people who plan to get active um, later on. Now, Bertha is in a good position. Bertha is on my first leg. So anyone that I bring in is going to be placed under her organization. Now, what's sad about this is people get into Wake Up Now and they complain about the $100 a month until they get three people. Okay, Bertha has two people that were active. Okay, but they went inactive. As you can see, Bertha's right here, and then there's a gray, and there's a gray. That means they came in as IBO, but they went inactive because they're yellow. So, she has people on her team that are active, but then she has people on her team that are inactive. Okay? So, basically what I'm saying is, when you join Wake Up Now as an IBO, and you go inactive, and I have to place people on your leg, you're missing out because... As long as you're inactive, you're not going to get credited for those people. You're not going to make any money, okay? It's best to stay active because as long as you're gone, you never know how many people are being added to your leg and how in the growth of your leg while you're, you know, being inactive and wake up now, okay? So, basically, one of her three has three. He just needs to get back active. Or whatever so he can start growing his team as well but one of her three has three all she needs is two more to get three and she'll be a founder three making 600 a month okay so all she needs is two more people to get three people of their own and as long as I'm placing people under her team you know I'm not gonna place them directly under her because she's inactive I'm going to place them under people that are active. So she's missing out as long as she's inactive because had she been active, I would have placed people who were active directly under her and she would have been free. So that's what happens when you go inactive. You're missing people. When I start placing people, you're missing, you know, basically help, you know, like the help you get for being, for staying active and the growth of your organization and your team. But, um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see this or whatever. Like, right here, as you can see, she has two actives. She only needs one more. And then one of hers already have three. I mean, already have one person under him. And then right here, she has her three. She's free. He has his three. One, two, three. He's free. He has one. Like, when you quit, 
wake up now, you're missing out on a whole lot of potential to rank up quick, okay? Like last night, I just placed Tiffany under her, okay? So one more person and she's free. That's all she needs is one more person. So the harder you go and wake up now, you're going to get what you put into it, okay? If you're not working it and you're not trying, then you're not going to get any help from your sponsor and you're not go going to get any sign-ups, okay? You're not going to get any par business partners because what you put into your business, if you're not really working it and you just sign up and expect somebody to just keep placing people directly under you, it's not going to happen, okay? People are going to get, like last night I just placed her under him because he's active. So just say, for instance, if she was active, I could have placed both people under her and she could have been free. Or one person under her and then one person under Stephanie, you know, just to give them a little boost and get and help them out. But that's what happens when you go inactive. You miss out on, you know, help and, and placements, okay? So I just wanted you guys to look at my structure and understand that as long as you're green, even if you're blue and you're green, that just means they came in as a preferred customer. Even if you're blue and you're green, you're you are in a good position to get people placed under you. Okay? So it's not as hard as if you go inactive and you're not going to get any placements because you're not active, so I'm not going to place anybody under you. But, yeah. I just wanted you all to see this. Okay. So, as you've seen, um, in that one leg, Bertha is missing out. Like I said, because she's inactive, those that I bring in that are active could be placed directly under her and she could have been free. Okay? And then next on her leg would be Derwin. Um, and he could have been free. Like, as long as you're active, you're going to get placements. But nobody wants to place someone who's active under someone who's inactive because, you know, it's basically like dead weight producing dead weight. And I don't want that to happen. I want to place people under people who are active, who are trying to get people in and sharing the opportunity versus placing them under somebody who's inactive and they're not going to have any help along the way for them being active except for my help. Because once I place somebody under someone, that is your sponsor. That is your direct sponsor. Even though I brought you in, when I place you, that's your direct sponsor. So I just wanted you guys to get an idea and a feel of, what happens when you join Wake Up Now and then when you quit Wake Up Now and, you know, if you would have stayed active, what could have happened had you been active? Because even though Bertha's still back there and her organization is still going to grow because she still has active people in her organization, when she gets back in, it's going to be the same old thing. She's still going to need her three. So it's kind of pointless. Like, if you just stay active, I could have placed those people under her and she could have been free. So... Um, I just wanted to make a video and basically show um, how our structure works and why it's best to stay active and wake up now because you never know if your organization is growing as long as you're inactive. And you never know by the time you get active again, you know, if I'm placing active people under active people and you are inactive, you're going to come in and you're still going to need those three. And you're still going to need those, you know, other two to get their three so it's kind of pointless only thing is is you'll have um way below lower in your leg active people that's all that's going to be different is you're going to come in and you're still going to need three that needs three and it's going to be the same old thing hey you just stayed active so i wanted to make that video and let you guys know it's best to just you know stay active and wake up now because your volume is increasing you know, your volume is steady increasing as long as you're inactive. But when you come back, it's going to be the same old thing because you left. So it really makes no point to quit. Really just keep grinding. But thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions about Wake Up Now, if you have any questions about the structure, if you have any questions at all, hit me up. Okay, give me a call, 615-212-9693. And if you're looking to get started, the links are under my video. Check out my video. And, um... Check out my website, and if you're ready to get signed up, sign on up, and welcome to the team. But um, thanks for watching my video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.